what made you agree to come to New York to do the SAFE tour for us? It's kind of a long story, but, but I, I've had uh, some events in my private life have, has, have taken place since January that have sort of made me take a distance. Uh, not that I wanted to, but I needed to. And um, so this is my first um, refocusing, and I'm completely, <laughs> completely <laughs> driven again. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think um, that that it, it, if there's an opportunity to express the things we're talking about, mm -hmm. it has to be expressed. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I love being able to 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 be amongst the objects again, mm -hmm. and also uh, discovering some of the other galleries that we met um, that have some objects that are from Afghanistan. And um, um, we talked about ownership. Mm -hmm. And one of the big problems uh, in the past 30 years for Afghanistan is that we've been looted so extensively. I mean, I must tell you, my father always says, never in the history of the world has a country been as extensively looted 24-7, you know, non-stop. If you look at Iraq, it eventually stopped. It's mm -hmm. still, I know it's latent, it's still happening. But to the, uh, uh, to, to the extent of Afghanistan, there's, there's no comparison at the moment. We lost officially over 60,000 objects. And real, I mean like real objects, of which not all of them were on inventory. Those are kind of lost forever mm -hmm. because you won't be able to prove, although you, Specialists, I mean, experts can. Mm -hmm. They will know where it's from. But if you were to battle it, you know, uh, some of them have an inventory identity already, mm -hmm. and were purchased, you know, uh, in some instances either by uh, an, an organization or a person who knew they were illegally acquired, or perhaps did not know they were illegally acquired, but nevertheless should have looked into it. They eventually acquired something that was illegally excavated. It was pulled off its womb. In that case, my argument is that instead of thinking of repatriation, which is extremely costly, could damage the object at the end of the day if it falls into the wrong hand or if the regime changes or God knows what, is to insist that objects that are proven to be from Afghanistan be officially recognized as such. You know, and the counter argument that it's not doable because it's not safe for objects, you know, that would be the case in, in terms of repatriation. Most countries would say, well, well, we can't repatriate, it's not safe, which is true. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, it's just a question of editing the mm -hmm. catalog and saying not presumably, possibly, maybe, but just saying Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. um, and then another thing that, um, you know, uh, I've had conversations at times uh, with members of SAFE is that um, we, we talk about repatriation private collectors. Um, I think it's in human nature to collect. My daughter collects rocks, ladybugs, you know. <laughs> we can't really criticize or blame or shame someone for collecting. But we can certainly uh, uh, gear up and, 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 uh, and try to do an awareness campaign, an education campaign, a knowledge-based campaign for collectioners, for everybody, mm -hmm. about the, the extensive damage that their behavior, if you will, is causing in the case of looted objects. Mm -hmm. And those who already have obtained objects and they have private collections, private, 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 hidden, to, and we know who they are. A lot of them, we know who they are. Mm -hmm. Is invite them, first of all, congratulate them. You know, I know it sounds strange, but congratulate them for having acquired these objects. Mm -hmm. Then ask them, I was saying as a joke forcefully, I don't mean that, <laughs> but you know, but, but really convince them to come on board and open up the collections to scientists. Mm -hmm. If they don't want to go public, fine, you know they don't want to go public, but to scientists who can come and take pictures and do an inventory, attempt to put the objects back into some kind of a context, historical context, mm -hmm. so that there can be a comparison 
done between object A, object B, site A, site B, eventually that might be already published somewhere, you know, that, 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 that talks to each other. So that, so that uh, who knows, maybe one day we would have an online catalog of all those objects that maybe we won't have access to physically yet, but at least we will know which one they are. Mm -hmm. We will be able to decipher, decipher stories, you know, that will describe more and more in detail the life that was happening in Central Asia. And, and ultimately, not only Central Asia, but because it's east to west and west to east, how this, this brassage, you know, this movement mm -hmm. of all that region from where we all are most, you know, not all, but a lot of us mm -hmm. are from Europe. A lot of Americans are from Europe, mm -hmm. or, the, or that whole um, continent. So, so it, it's, it's, um, it's no longer about Afghans only. It's really about a, a world history, you know, and, and it's fantastic to be able to observe and, and, and enjoy um, the tales and tribulations of our ancestors through the art and architecture they've left behind mm -hmm. and be able to find the relationships and ultimately describe who we are today. 